Hi, y'all. Um, so a little funny thing that occurred to me um, last night. Um, I'm sitting on the couch in our, in our living room thinking, yeah, you know, I pull my laptop, laptop up right now and, and, and maybe record a lecture, um, but I'm kind of tired. Um, oh, I, you know, I, I actually haven't filmed from this room, you know, and I, I kind of chuckled to myself and thought, well, you know, all the rooms if I filmed from in the house, so, you know, I'll never film from the bathroom. And then I realized that, yeah, actually, I've, I've done that. So, <laughs> all right. Um, anyway, what am I talking about uh, in this particular uh, uh, lecture, in this particular module, whatever? Um, I'm going to talk about how a generator works. And um, I am going to, at the risk of losing you all right now, um, tell you that you are actually not responsible for this material. But um, I wouldn't feel like I was doing my job if I didn't at least tell you where your power comes from. <laughs> All right, um, so here's the deal. Um, you, we have probably all driven down the highway and seen a wind turbine, right? So, um, so we know that somehow that generates power. Um, if we think about a coal power plant, we may be aware of the fact that um, some coal gets burnt, hot air rises and turns a turbine. Um, same kind of idea uh, with a nuclear power plant. There's a turbine that gets turned. Same kind of idea actually um, with a hydroelectric plant, um, um, something that depends on water power, a turbine gets turned. So as I look at this slide, right there, is the source of my power, my, uh, my mechanical power, whether it's wind or coal or nuclear or water, something causes a turbine to be turned. And, and then what do we have? We've got a loop of wire um, that's basically in between um, the poles of a magnet. And we know um, now what ha what's gonna happen as this, as this thing turns around. Well, as this thing turns, my flux through that area is changing. Um, the flux through the area of my coil. The magnetic field might be constant, the area of the coil might be constant and fixed, but the angle, uh, the angle there is gonna be changing. So as a result, my flux is changing. And if my flux is changing, then what do I have? I've got an EMF, I've got a voltage that's being created. I've got a current that's running through that loop now. And then um, that current gets used to what? Uh, transport power into our power lines. Um, so this is called a generator. Um, this is how our, our power actually um, gets produced um, in, in all of our various types of power plants. It relies on this idea of transferring mechanical motion into electromagnetic energy. It's actually the exact opposite of a motor because what does a motor do? It transfers electromagnetic energy into motion. Um, so it works the exact opposite way. Um, when I say the word generator, you guys might think of those little uh, gas power generators that um, um, some of y'all have uh, might have or some of your uh, your folks might have um, that um, you know they might have out in the garage or in the barn or what have you um, uh, in case power goes out so you've, you've got a generator in case your, your power goes out that can supply power uh, that's run off gas but same kind of idea it's going to um, uh, turn uh, some kind of mechanical energy um, in this case it's chemical energy that's stored in gas it gets burnt that then um, causes um, uh, something to spin, and then that gets changed into electromagnetic energy. Um, and again, we're bumping up against the limits of my ignorance, but that's, that's all right. Um, I don't really need to get into the rest of these slides at all. Uh, it really is just the one that I was interested in. Um, one, uh, well, except for one thing, um, we, uh, 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 we noticed that, um, uh, as this thing spins around, um, our direction of our current is going to change um, uh, depending on uh, which side of the loop uh, is, 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 is uh, uh, which way. Um, same way when we talked about motors, right? We said, oh, we, could, we have this flip-flop motion if we don't have a, a brake. 
well, it's going to be the same thing with the with the generator. Um, the direction of the current is going to is going to change. It's going to be running in one direction through half half of the motion, and in the other direction through the other half of the motion. Um, so this is um, kind of like a, a sine wave that ends up getting formed. Um, this is kind of like AC power generation. All right. Um, that does it for that, guys. For those of you who stuck through this, thank you very much. Um, and um, the next one will be about transformers, which is def definitely is material you're responsible for.